Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Aussie Fishkeeping. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a list of seven fish that are the most profitable when it comes to breeding. So breeding fish, unless you're doing it on a really large scale, isn't really profitable in general, although it's definitely a great way to keep your hobby running and to pay for some of the expenses involved with your hobby like food. But besides that, like I said before, unless you have a giant facility just breeding and wholesaling fish, it isn't really that profitable in the whole scheme of things. Although with that being said, if you do put enough time and money into the hobby, you can actually make quite a bit of money from breeding fish. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving a list of seven that I think are definitely the most profitable fish to breed. So without any further ado, let's just jump straight into today's video. So the first fish on our list is probably not a surprise to most people it's guppies so while guppies are quite a inexpensive and cheap fish to buy they do actually release a lot of fry when you breed them so guppies are definitely a great way to just supplement the hobby and cover costs although you can't really make too much money off them unless you're breeding them on a large scale with some really nice rare strains so one of the reasons guppies are so profitable is that they're always desired in the hobby and they're generally a really good beginner fish so if somebody is a beginner to the hobby they will generally be buying something like a guppy which makes them super sought after from pet shops and fish stores so you shouldn't really have any trouble at all trying to sell them and another great thing about them is that you can get a super wide variety of different strains and colors some of which can reach quite high prices and if you're breeding those quite regularly and selling them you can definitely make quite good money from that Another thing that I love so much about guppies is that you can put them in a profitable aquarium. So you can have multiple species in this aquarium all breeding for profit. So in a profitable aquarium with guppies, you could have something like shrimp in there, some ramshorn snails, or even maybe a small pair of dwarf cichlids. But yeah, definitely my advice for a beginner would to be get guppies, especially if they are trying to breed some fish for profit. So moving on to the next fish on our list, we have something that's a little bit more profitable, although it does require a little bit more effort and care into breeding. We have angelfish. So angelfish can be quite profitable as long as you're selling them at the right times. So you don't really want to be just constantly breeding angelfish just because not everybody wants to buy an angelfish. So fish shops don't really need them as often as guppies. So if you're constantly just breeding your angelfish, you'll eventually just run out of space and all the fish shops will be stocked up with angelfish so they won't need any more. Although if you are breeding angelfish correctly and doing it maybe once a month or once every two months, you can definitely get quite a bit of profit from them. So depending on what variant you're breeding, you could probably get anywhere between $5 to $50 per angelfish. Obviously, just for your golden pearl scales and your assorted, you'd probably be looking from 5 to 15, I'd say. So one of the downsides for angelfish is that you generally do need quite a lot of grow out tank space for them. Just because if you have them in too small of an aquarium, you can stunt their growth and their fins will get all bent. And that's obviously not what a fish shop wants to buy. They just want the quality, nice, straight-finned angelfish. So if you are breeding them, you are probably going to want to have maybe a three to four foot aquarium ready for the fry to grow out in. But besides that, angelfish are definitely another great profitable aquarium fish to breed. So moving on to the next fish on our list, we have something that's a little bit more pricey and a little bit more difficult to breed. We have L number plecos. So the thing I love in particular about plecos is that they come in a whole variety of different colors and patterns. So they also come in different rarities as well, meaning that if you're looking in any particular sort of strain of L number pleco, you could be looking at paying anywhere between maybe $30 to $40 all the way up to about two and a half to five grand, which obviously means if you are breeding them, they can be a very profitable fish for you. So the only downside I find with L number plecos is that they are a little bit on the harder side to breed and you really need to stay on top of your water parameters to try and trigger them properly. As well as that, they do need to grow out for quite some time before they're actually at the mature age where they're able to breed. Although if you do end up getting them to breed, you can definitely get quite a large amount of profit 
from these fish so depending on the species they generally have around 4 to 50 fry so a great thing about these guys is that they don't actually need quite a lot of grow out space and if you do have a grow out tank you can chuck them in the bottom and have another fish growing out in there as well or you could obviously just leave them in there to grow out with the parents because the parents shouldn't really harm them at all so with there being a whole variety of different price ranges obviously it's going to depend on what species you breed but you should be able to sell them quite easily for quite a reasonable amount of profit to either individuals on something like marketplace or gumtree or obviously to local fish stores so if you're able to put in the amount of time and effort you need to to successfully breed these guys i would definitely recommend them as a super great fish to breed for profit so moving on to the next fish on our list we have another pretty common one that people breed a lot for profit we have cherry shrimp so shrimp in general are just a really good fish to breed for profit just because much like the guppies they are always super desired in the hobby although the thing that sets these guys apart is that they can reach higher prices so they are a little bit more difficult to breed and care for as well although i definitely wouldn't say they're a hard fish at all but once you do get them breeding, you can definitely sell them as easily as the guppies, although you could probably get a little bit more from these guys. So I would recommend getting something like a yellow or orange or maybe even a blue cherry shrimp to start off with. And if you make a lot of profit breeding them, then you could obviously expand into caradinas and different colors of neo caradinas as well so much like the guppies as well cherry shrimp and shrimp in general are just another great fish that you can use in a profitable aquarium setup and if you want me to go more into detail on the profitable aquarium setups let me know in the comments down below and i'll definitely make a video about that as well but back to the cherry shrimp so another great thing about them is that they do not need a whole lot of grow out space at all and their babies can do just fine with the parents as well so the parents won't eat the babies at all and they won't harm them in any way so you could easily set up a little shrimp breeding colony in maybe a 20 liter aquarium and just pick out of there every month and take them down to your local fish shop to sell but yeah because of those reasons i definitely think cherry shrimp are another great fish to breed for profit okay so moving on to the next fish on our list we have another fish that's super duper easy to breed we have better fish so better fish are a really easy fish to breed and you can get quite a bit of profit depending on what strain you choose to breed from the babies so if you are breeding betters i probably wouldn't recommend breeding something like a veil tail or i don't even know like a placat or something i would definitely recommend breeding a color variant like koi's just because when you breed kois, you're not going to get 100% of kois all the time anyway. So you will get like just random colors in there as well. Although the kois that you do get out of the batch, you can definitely sell for a little bit more money at your local fish store. So you could also do something a little bit more exotic like wild betters or giant betters. And you should be able to get quite a little bit more money off those guys. But the only downside to betters is obviously it's a long process trying to breed them. And you have to condition them up and then you have to introduce them together and breed them. I am planning on doing a video on that as well. But yeah, just sometimes they can be a little bit difficult to breed and then not the most convenient thing to often breed. So as well as that, once the fry do get to a certain age, you will need to separate them out into different cups. Just because obviously being fighting fish, they will tend to nip at each other and fight if they are in larger groups together. And you want to try and preserve their fin structure as well as you can just to try and keep them nice and healthy for the fish shop. But yeah, another great species to breed for profit is definitely betters. So moving on to the next fish on our list, we have one that can be a little bit harder to breed, although it's a little bit more profitable than things like betters. We have Corydoras catfish. So in the Corydoras catfish family, there's a wide variety of different species and some of which can sell for anywhere between like $20 to $50. So if you are planning to breed Corydoras catfish, I'd probably steer clear from things like bronze and albino quarries just because they can be very profitable just because fish shops always want them. Although obviously you're not going to make too much money from breeding these simple species like that. And instead, I would recommend something like a long fin panda or even just a normal panda all the way up to your like gold laser quarries 
So these species aren't often too hard to breed, although they definitely require a little bit more effort than the other species. Although once you do breed them and you raise up the fry, you can definitely sell them for a lot more than the bronze and albino gories. But yeah, one of the best species to breed for profit is definitely Corydoras catfish. Now, moving on to the final fish on our list, I'm sure a lot of people could have guessed this fish as well. We have bristlenose catfish. So, bristlenose catfish are very similar to the L number plecos, except they are a little bit less pricey, although they're definitely a lot easier to breed. So, it doesn't actually even really matter if you're breeding your super common bristlenose, like obviously your common and albino bristlenose, or if you're breeding your super reds or lemon blue eyes, just because both all species of bristlenose are super popular and they're always sought after by local fish stores and yeah you can just get quite a lot of money off them so as well as that they're super easy to raise and you don't really need to put a lot of effort into breeding and rearing the fry so once they are at a sellable size depending on what variant you bred you can get quite a bit of profit from them so for example for something like a just a general albino bristlenose you could probably be looking at anywhere between five to seven dollars from a local fish store Obviously, that depends on what fish store you're selling it to as well. Some may want to buy it for cheaper. Some may want to give you a little bit more for it. And if you're breeding something like a super red or a lemon blue eye, you could probably look at anywhere between like $12 to $15 each, especially if you're selling them to a high-end fish shop or pet shop. But yeah, besides that, bristlenose are one of my favorites on the list and are definitely one of the best fish that you can breed for profit. But with that being said, that is going to bring us to the end of today's video. So I hope you all enjoyed and I hope I helped you guys find a new species of fish to breed for profit. I hope you are successful in breeding whatever fish you choose and I hope this video really did help you guys out. So if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe and comment your thoughts on the video down below. I always love going through and reading all the comments from you guys. But yeah, with that being said, I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all in that next video.